All right, first thing we're doing is we're attaching back into our spool. I'm gonna do one hitch around there and then load my spool onto the frame to make sure you're coming out the right direction for your retrieve. And then I'm simply gonna tie a uni knot Four or five times through is sufficient. Then we're just going to seat that back on the spool. If you just wiggle it a couple times, that will get in there nice and tight and it won't slip. That's why I do that extra wrap. We'll cut off our tag. Now we're ready to start winding our line on. I've got Rick over here and he's holding my line on a spool. I don't know, can you see Rick there? If you're doing it by yourself, You'll have to kind of use your fingers as a guide. I find that it's easier if I turn it upside down and wrap that way. You can also run your line between a book if you want a little tension on it. And you just have to wind and wind and wind until you get that 100 yards or however much is on there all loaded up. So once you've got your backing attached to your reel, you need to attach your fly line. If you've got a loop on your fly line, I simply fold a bite in my backing and I'm just going to tie a double surgeons. If I was setting this up for salt water, I might actually do double my knot in two places and uh, definitely make sure it's glued. Then we just run that loop through there and right over the spool of our fly line. And we are connected. In a perfect scenario, you've got a loop on the end of your fly line and you've purchased a leader that has a loop on the back. And all you need to do is join those together. So here's my fly line loop. There's a loop on my leader. Just run the leader right through. Then you just have to get a tag of your leader through the loop on the front end of it and just pull all that through. And then those just marry up loop to loop. I usually put a little tension on there, kind of give it a stretch, make sure it seats nice and smooth.